I made some chickpea cookies. I'm soaking some cashews to make vegan cheese with. Got the onion for it, the lemon, and garlic. I'm gonna hit the shower. I'm very sweaty and gross. And then make some cheese. Okay, so I'm actually making some vegan cheese right now. Um, what that consists of is about one to two cups of cashews, and I soak them in water as well as coconut milk, um, just a splash, and I poured the rest into the sink, so I'm just using a little bit because you want it to be thick. And then I'm putting a white, uh, like just a quarter of a white, onion in here and then I put some lemon juice from there in there uh, ooh, I hope I didn't get a seed in there because that would not taste that good it would oh well it'll probably blend up I also put a few cloves of garlic so if you want to see what that looks like and so now I'm gonna add a couple more things Alright, I was freaked out because I thought we didn't have any nutritional yeast, but you've got some right here, and that's one of the main ingredients, so I just, I don't really measure it, <clears throat> because really, I mean, the beauty of it is that you can make it taste, like, the more you put in of something, the more it'll taste like that, so nutritional yeast has, like, that savory kind of taste, a little bit um, of tahini, just pour a little of that in. smell it first. <laughs> Tahini is not necessary. I'd say the main ingredients you really want are cashews, um, nutritional yeast, lemon, garlic, and white onion. I also have been adding some miso to it and it gives it more of that umami flavoring. Alrighty. And I definitely want to say, oh, if you have sauerkraut, um, I'd add some of that. Let me check and see if it happens. So no sauerkraut today, but um, it's definitely something you can add. I'm gonna blend this up. It's very <laughs> All right, guys, I kid you not, this stuff is so good. Look at that. So good. The garlic is such a good touch. Makes it a little spicier, a little nacho-y. I mean, so much of this, I could literally eat this like a soup. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on some avocado. If you can get yourself homegrown avocados, I suggest doing that because it'll change your life forever. They just taste, they taste different than store-bought avocados, I'll tell you that. Like real avocados. Mm. So I'll show you what it ends up looking like whatever I end up making. Real quickly, I just wanted to show you what an avocado from a tree looks like. It is just perfect. Uh, the skin's a little thinner. Uh, I'm not sure if that's just the type of tree, but I'm gonna cut this up. I've um, let some kale reduce in the fridge with some olive oil, lemon, and salt. So that's going to be the base of the salad. I'm just going to add a bunch of other veggies and then I'm going to add a vegan cheese. So I'll show you when it's all done. Okay, so as you can see here, I've cut up the avocado. I literally had to skin it because the um, skin was so thin. Um, and then I've got the, I have some beets here that I cut and some asparagus. I 
actually put some parchment paper down on this cutting board so I don't get it stained. Um, you know, it's a little wasteful and I'm working on that for sure. All this packaging does make me sad. These, I also added some um, beets from Trader Joe's and some sun-dried tomatoes. Um, but a lot of the time, my family and I, we wash these and we reuse them for, um, if it's like a mason jar type, we'll drink out of it. Um, but if it's something like, you know, something small like this, you can store um, your veggies in it. So it's awesome. And it's glass. I mean, it's better than plastic. Um, so that's a little tip and trick. I also added some um, sprouts here. And I'm going to add the rest of the veggies and top it all off with our vegan cheese. So here we go.